Now, if you want to increase your performance, the place to start is an awareness that there is a sliding scale of ability at anything. And at one end of the scale, there is world-class, and at the other end of the scale, there is just miserable. Now, at anything in your life, you're gonna have a range of ability at it. So for example, if we take an academic example, if someone gets an A on an assignment and you got a B, you don't mind that they got an A because a B is really good for you, so you enjoy it. Further, if someone gets to say an E and you get a D, you don't mind that they got an E because you got a D and that's bad for you, so it doesn't feel good. So what people experience in their ability is a range between really poor for them and really good for them. And people are really happy when it's a good performance for what they're capable of. So then we look at what's the science behind getting someone to be really good in a particular area? Well, there's two elements to it. One, there's skill. And with skill, skill is the thing that we spend most of our time working on because it's so tangible. We can think about what do we do to get our golf swing better and we can look at a few points, we can watch some videos and then we can visually see what we need to fix. And there's many coaches around that can help you with skill. And typically you need to find someone who really is an expert in it. But the other element is the mindset. And so what have you got to do to have the mindset that allows your best day? Well, what we call that is best day thinking. Best day thinking. And best day thinking is actually the series of thoughts that you have on your best day. See, it's almost like a recipe, but it's different than what you do on your worst day. For example, most people are very aware of the thoughts they have on a poor performance. They're like, oh, I just really, I really just worry what everybody else is thinking. And I look at how good the others are. And then I think about, oh my God, what if I stuff it up? And what will everybody say? And there's a series of thoughts and focuses and awarenesses that essentially, if added up, turn out pretty much to be like math and they create the poor performance. It's like a recipe, like baking a cake. On your best day, however, you have other thoughts, awarenesses, things that you focus on that bring out the best of your ability. And they're things like maybe on your best day, for example, if you're a swimmer, you think about touching the wall faster than anyone else. Or maybe if it's a business meeting, you just think about making sure you really communicate the entire point as clearly as you possibly can so that you get the sale. Or perhaps if it's working with your family, maybe you just really think about the development of your child. Where on your worst day, you think about something else. You think about how annoying this is to speak to your child. Or maybe everybody's looking at me in that presentation. Or you don't think about the wall, you think about, oh no, how good is that other athlete? Now everyone's got their own formula for here. So there's not a generic solution. And this is where the trick comes in. When it comes to skill, typically it's going to be something that most people, when they do it that way, you're gonna get a result. But when it comes to the mindset, you've got your own customized, personalized formula for bringing out your best day. Now, here's the thing. Most people know what this is, and so what they do is they try not to think about that. That's like saying, whatever you do, don't think about this pen, and that you're stuffed. What you really wanna do is get some clarity on your best day. What is it you're aware of? What do you think about? And then get so clear on it that you can focus in on it as if it was a magnifying glass. And that becomes the mental practice, the fitness, the focus that liberates talent. So whatever your range is, for you to be at the best of your range, start to develop your awareness of what it is that you focus on and think about and enjoy. Because that is what brings out the best of your ability.